let's try our hand at a little video about a nice little electronics thing. Um, let's see if we can get it to focus. Yeah. So this is an OLED display, uh, a feather wing OLED display. And this is a um, pressure, humidity, and temperature sensor. And uh, yeah, it has some awesome little buttons on the side. So I wrote a program to show me the voltage on the, the battery. So it's currently charging. Um, it's not quite to 3.7 volts yet. And then um, I push A here. It'll switch me back to temperature, pressure, and humidity. And if I push C, it'll convert to um, Celsius. <laughs> so, it's actually the default. So, if I reset the program, it's going to show you the Adafruit logo. And then, yeah. So, I thought that was, was kind of neat. And, uh, little program here. Uh, this is mostly copied from the demo program on Adafruit. Um, I added a couple functions here to work with the display, a dis display line function. Um, initialize the pins just like in the demo. This is initializing the um, uh, temperature, humidity, pressure sensor. And then um, I have a, like a handy dandy display weather function. This is just uh, setting up the display, getting the temperature, checking to see if we're going to be using Celsius or Fahrenheit, doing the conversion, a little Google search to figure out the formula, and then a little SN printf into a buffer with a nice formatted string, clear the display. That was actually one of the first things I, I mixed up. And then I suppose what Adafruit was suggesting here is that we delay by 10 and then yield before we display all the commands to the buffer. I don't know why, but that seems reasonable, so we just do that. Uh, and then reading battery voltage, which is really cool from the Feather, that we can have a battery, and then it'll charge the battery. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. So as it's charging the battery, um, Okay, so I think I got this math right based on the, so this is a ESP32 feather, and it seems that I need to divide by two, multiply times the reference voltage, and then divide the whole thing by 1024, which gets us, um, that does get us what looks to be a, a reasonable voltage, 3.6, and um, this battery has been sitting out for a little while unused, it, it, so it makes sense it would be a little less than full and I'm pretty sure this yellow light is the indicator to say it's putting charge onto the battery so um, I think that's now the correct formula for um, determining the voltage on the feather um, so same concept here with the little display delay um, now Button controls, um, I kind of wanted to put a delay here uh, in that I didn't really want to sample changes in weather and battery like super frequently. Um, actually, I guess maybe it would make sense to have a, a sort of a separate way of determining that and then just keep a tight loop for a refresh. But I was having a problem with these button signals not being processed if um, we put a delay here. So I removed the delay and everything suddenly became much more responsive. Um, but yeah, so basically we we determine whether or not A, B, or C is pressed with a bias, I guess, towards B. And then, uh, uh, yeah, based on the mode that was set, just call the function. Um, I initially thought maybe I'll do something with C, but I don't know, I figured why don't we just make C the toggle between Celsius and Fahrenheit since really no Celsius too good. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that's uh, a nice little, little sensor project. Yeah.